they mentioned that there is going to be one eliminatory round which is going to be my overall uh, verdict was this round was around medium uh, like let's say you can rate it 3.5 out of 5 but fortunately i was able to clear this round now round number 2 was pretty interesting in round number 2 the profile that i was actually being interviewed for got on hold you have not practiced for these kind of question it can be kind of problematic hello everyone i am sanket singh and welcome back to my channel so guys, as you know that recently in the last quarter, I actually appeared for a bunch of interviews and I recently shifted from Google to Microsoft. Now in this whole interview procedure, I was interviewed by a bunch of companies including Flipkart, Microsoft, Walmart, etc. And I have uh, recently started uploading my interview experiences for all of these companies. Now one more company I actually interviewed with was Atlassian. So I interviewed Atlassian for a front-end engineer role for a SD2 position, right? So in this video, we are going to talk about what were the rounds like, what were the expectation in each and every round, and what was the final verdict for the Atlassian interview experience. So without any further delay, let's just start. But before starting the video, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing to the channel. We are going to bring some more awesome content on this channel. Also, one disclaimer that this particular video is only for educational purpose so that in case you are also preparing for interview or let's say you have an upcoming interview in a particular company you can get an idea you can get a temperament you can get the topics which might be relevant and can be asked to your interviews as well so let's just start so the application procedure of Atlassian was pretty different because this time uh, the recruiter of Atlassian themselves actually reached out to me right they actually reached out to me probably two months ago right from the date of start of my I would say procedure but I replied them uh, pretty late because maybe the message got missed on my LinkedIn and email so I pinged them back and they were pretty responsive I felt like the overall HR team was pretty responsive throughout the whole procedure so they reached out to me and told me that how the procedure uh, the whole interview process looks like they mentioned that there is going to be one eliminatory round which is going to be a carrot interview what is carrot carrot is a third party company that can take one or two rounds for a particular company for example in case of Atlassian they were taking the first eliminatory round and followed by that there will be three technical rounds which uh, among which two uh, like one will be high level design round one will be kind of like a machine coding round and one will be a javascript coding round post that there will be one culture fit round and one team fit round so these were the overall set of rounds that why i was explained and they mentioned that this is going to be a front end engineer profile for a sd2 position so i need to make sure that all of the focus lies around the major components and the major important things around front end so now let's go step by step in each of the each every round and let's see what was the question that was asked to me so in the carrot interview round, the round was of one hour. Uh, there was a carrot interviewer. Of course, they they may or may not be from Atlassian because carrot is a different company altogether that conducts these kind of eliminatory rounds and everything. So it was a face to face online uh, Zoom round. Right. On this particular round, they asked me a bunch of questions around plain basic JavaScript. There were questions related to predicting the output for a particular JavaScript, uh, I would say, question. So they gave me a code snippet and they asked me to actually predict the output without running the code. So probably they asked around six, seven different different code snippets. Apart from that, they asked me a few definitions around JavaScript like closures, what are promises. They also asked me a few network related, uh, I would say, definition like what is bandwidth, how HTTP works, so on and so forth. So some theoretical questions and some predict the output questions were there. And that was the only thing that was expected in this round. This round went for one hour. We spent the whole one hour. Uh, my overall uh, verdict was this round was around medium. Uh, like let's say you can rate it 3.5 out of 5 because the predict the output questions in JavaScript can be very tricky, right? If you have not prepared JavaScript well and if you have not practiced for these kind of questions, it can be kind of problematic, uh, especially when the this kind of questions is asked in the first eliminated round itself but fortunately i was able to clear this round and was able to move to the next set of rounds interestingly what was uh, the situation was the fact that if i have cleared the eliminated round then all the remaining five rounds will be completed and conducted and then only we will be able to actually get the final verdict so let's start discussing about what were the remaining set of rounds now the first round which was with the atlassian engineer was a javascript coding round in this JavaScript coding now, the engine, uh, like the interviewer actually expected me to code a tic-tac-toe application, right? They said that they want to see that how I can structure my code well, how I can manage the corner cases, how I can make sure that the overall code is as optimized as possible. They gave me an open liberty that maybe if I want, I can use uh, a library like React in order to code the whole tic-tac-toe application, or I can use plain JS as well in order to code it. 
I opted for a plain JS solution because I thought that within one hour it would be relatively more easy to uh, just code the plain JS solution because I have coded tic tac toe solution multiple times. So the overall solution was in my head, right? So I coded the whole solution. There were a bunch of discussion around why I am actually using a particular type of a uh, functions uh, uh, in the overall DOM manipulation process. They also asked me to make sure that I keep on coding and then if I have any questions, I can then ask them. And I was also allowed to Google in case any particular, let's say API, I am not able to figure out or I'm not able to recall then I can just google it as well so it was a pretty open round and they wanted to just check that how exactly I'm able to understand how well I'm able to understand the front-end systems how well I'm able to structure the overall front-end design code and at last I was able to code the whole application it was working the most of the question that they asked I answered and I felt like it was an overall positive round altogether and in the same evening the HR informed me that uh, the round is positive and of course as I mentioned that first of all they were expect like they were expecting to have all the five rounds then only they will give the final verdict so the next round was uh going to be going to happen the day uh, like the next day only after the first round actually happened and let's start talking about what was the expectation in the next round now round number two was pretty interesting in round number two the interviewer asked me a bunch of basic js questions first of all for like five ten minutes that what your promises how exactly asynchronous code in javascript works so on and so forth and then they gave me a problem statement the problem statement was to design a publisher subscriber library in javascript that yes that's a pub sub library in javascript so what they were expecting that i need to make an end-to-end -end library with plain js so that this library can be integrated in any front-end application wherever anybody wants to use a publisher subscriber pattern. For example, let's say you have a front-end application and you don't want to re-render the whole component or you don't want to re-render the whole page. Then maybe what you want is you want to maybe publish some events from one part of the application and actually subscribe it to the another part. This kind of a publisher subscriber pattern was expected and I was expected to code this library end to end so that there are a bunch of functions and those functions are working end to end. Apart from that, they were also expecting me to test this whole functionality. So uh, I was expected to write some code that can actually test whether the publisher method, whether the subscriber method is working or not. Apart from that, there were a few uh, situations as well. For example, if there is a, a subscriber which is subscribing to a particular event, they can unsubscribe to the event also so they actually uh, wanted me to structure the methods so that whenever we actually subscribe to a particular event this subscription method actually returns us a callback that we can actually execute anytime when we want to unsubscribe the event so this kind of a overall code structure uh, they were actually expecting me to have the overall round went for around one hour uh, i was able to code the solution the overall pub sub library was working i believe that i could have if given more time i could have maybe enhanced the overall cleanliness of the code and maybe added some more optimization here and there but i believe the problem statement was pretty complex compared to uh, like considering one hour of an interview so i will rate this particular interview as medium heart around 4 4.5 out of 5 compared to the previous one which was around medium only right so this was how this particular round went i believe i was able to code the solution and also make them understand what exactly i am thinking about if you want to read more about uh, how you can actually code your own publisher subscriber library i would recommend you to read about how observer pa uh, observer pattern works see some of publisher subscriber library use them and then try to think about how you can code them as well now round number three was a high level design front end high level design round in which i was expected to actually design the high level architecture of jira like application where you have a bunch of tickets you can have status of the tickets you can drag and drop tickets here and there almost like a jira like application they were expecting me to actually design they wanted to make sure that i consider each and everything around uh, how exactly the data is going to be fetched what are the apis that we are going to consider how we can make sure the network latency is as minimum as possible they also wanted to see that how how I'm going to maintain the accessibility in the overall application. They also wanted to see that what are the different alternatives for each and every approach that I'm going to give for a particular solution. And they wanted to see how the overall API contract is going to work, how we can make sure that uh, the re-rendering on the overall application is la as less as possible. They gave me the liberty that I can like choose any framework in my head. For example, you, I can make this whole application using React. I was not expected to code it in React, but I was expected to give the high level design that how exactly if I'm using react then how exactly things are going to be done so it was a pretty interesting discussion that went for around one hour 10 minutes odd and uh, i felt uh, uh, relatively positive about the overall i would say interview because i was able to answer most of the questions i believe and the overall difficulty i would 
10th day of the round is going to be medium hard again because the counter questions that the interviewer was asking was pretty interesting and pretty uh, unique as well so you need to actually have some knowledge around how you structure your overall application how you manage accessibility in your application if you do not have any prior experience i believe the questions were kind of like slightly on the harder end but because i worked on accessibility part and everything in google pay so i was uh, able to answer most of the question there so this was how the high level design round that was the third round in the procedure was like now the fourth round was a culture fit round in which most of the questions that was asked to me from the interviewer was non technical question that what are some of the i would say uh, improvement areas that i think that i can do as a overall software engineer there have there been any situations of conflict with my manager or maybe my team lead and how do i resolve it how i make sure that uh, i am making making the overall environment of the team as a uh, like as good as possible am i a team player or not these kind of non technical questions were asked this round also went for around almost 40 45 minutes most of the questions that they asked i was prepared for these kind of question because i was already giving a bunch of interviews and mostly in the non technical and culture fit rounds people ask similar kind of a questions so i was prepared for this and the round went pretty positive i believe but an interesting thing that happened after this round that the profile that i was actually being interviewed for got on hold how it worked was like there was after this round there was one more round that was expected to be uh, done they asked me for a schedule i delayed it for one week because i was going for a holiday in that particular week and after that they actually probably maybe somebody else got hired on the same position or they may have to close the position because of any xyz reason they showed me an email that uh, for now the profile and the hiring on this particular let's say profile or the whatever job id was there is on hold i'll attach the screenshot of the email that i got from the recruiter and they mentioned that if in any case they have another opening on the similar profile they will actually uh, shoot me an email or maybe try to contact me i overall believe the overall rounds and procedures were pretty neutral i was not able to complete the whole procedure because still one round was left but yeah you can consider that as a rejection or you can consider that uh, as profile got on hold i'm not sure but yeah i definitely feel that overall experience in the overall interview process was very nice because each and every interviewer made sure that they are asking some relevant question some interesting hard questions and it was good for at least practice because as i mentioned somebody probably else got hired on that position so i never got the offer but yeah the overall experience was pretty nice so that was uh, all about my atlassian interview experience if you have any questions please do drop your questions in the comment section i would be really happy to answer all of them right and if you enjoyed this particular video don't forget to hit the like button and please hit the subscribe button so that you can get all the notifications about all the videos that we are going to put on this channel that being said let's wrap this particular video here we are going to meet soon in the next set of videos till then take care guys bye bye i am sanket singh signing off